KPRC 2 News begins right now with breaking news. That breaking news just into our newsroom. One of the Apollo 11 astronauts passed away. The family of Michael Collins making the announcement just minutes ago on social media. Collins was 90 years old. His family announcing the beloved father and grandfather passed away today after a valiant battle with cancer. KPRC's 2's space reporter Roseanne Aragon takes a look back at his life and legacy. Michael Collins was one third of the most famous space mission in history, Apollo 11, the first lunar landing. As Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin took mankind's first steps on the moon, Collins orbited miles above them. He was the command module pilot. But before he was a space traveler, he was a world traveler. Collins was born in Rome, where his father, a career army officer, was stationed. The army sent their family all over the map. Collins followed in his father's footsteps to West Point and then the armed services. But instead of the Army, his love for flying led him to the Air Force. As an astronaut, he flew to space twice, Gemini 10 and Apollo 11. Collins was sometimes called the forgotten astronaut of that mission to the moon, but he was at peace with his role in history. I wish I could have walked on the moon uh, undeniably. I, I, I felt that way at the time. Still, I'm, I'm sorry I missed that, but I can say with the utmost honesty, I was thrilled to have the place that I had. Armstrong and Aldrin may have gotten the glory, but Collins stood out at NASA. Mike Collins was a probably the brightest of the three, well-read, had a hell of a uh, education, everything like that. Um, it, uh, my favorite. Collins was respected by his colleagues, who were also his neighbors. Astronauts, engineers, and mission control workers all lived in neighborhoods near the Manned Spacecraft Center, which is now the Johnson Space Center. Collins split his time training between Texas and Florida, but his wife and kids, they were full-time residents here. My wife, Pat, uh, stayed in uh, Houston, and I was by myself here. Some, some uh, crews uh, imported their family from uh, Texas to Florida and that worked out well for them, but uh, we used a different system and it, it worked out very well for us. Life after the moon landing brought decades of accolades for the Apollo 11 crew. Collins wrote a few books and made a few appearances. Interviews were rare, but when Collins did sit down and answer questions, he was always asked how he felt about his place in history. To be one third of John F. Kennedy's culminating dream, uh, land on the moon, return to Earth. I have absolutely no beef whatsoever 